Hello, thanks for stopping by today. If you are interested in the supplies and measurements for today's card, there is a link in the information section below to the blog post with all the details. For today's card, I am using the Hollows Night Magic. I'm specifically using the Open If You Dare and the Large Spider. I am also using the Cobweb Embossing Folder and some of the Metallic Mesh Ribbon. And check out this cute card. I did some embossing of vellum, and it may be hard to see, but I also embossed, oh, I forgot the pearls. I also embossed the spiders. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, and here are my measurements. I need my basic black card base. I'm gonna take my basic black card base, and my large frame and I'm gonna tape this in place so it doesn't shift on me and I'm gonna cut the front of this out okay save this frame because you can use it for something else the reason I cut this out is I wanted to make certain I had um, knew where to place my spiders so I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna grab my large spider, my Versamark, and my embossing buddy. And I have my embossing powder over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my embossing buddy and I'm gonna put some powder all over this so I don't end up with powder where I don't, or embossing where I don't want it. All right, then I'm gonna take my Versamark pad and this looks horrible, but it still works. Um, so, and then I'm just gonna kind of emboss my, or stamp my, should, I should say stamp, my spider all over. Let's have this one coming down. And I'm varying the placement and the direction so it looks like this spider is crawling all over this piece of paper. All right, now that I've got that done, I'm gonna take my embossing powder and I'm going to add my embossing powder all over Make sure I have no stray pieces. All right, and I caught an edge here, down here. So I'm gonna take, I've got a little bit there. I have a stiff brush. It's actually a stencil brush. And I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of that. A st Oop, there's one there too. Good thing I noticed it. A stencil brush is good because it's hard, it's stiff. The others, the bristles are too, um, too fine and they bend. I'm gonna go heat set this. Okay, I have my spiders embossed. I don't know if you can see them, but it just gives it a little bit of sparkle and shine. The next thing I wanna do is I took a piece of vellum that is three and three fourths by five and a fourth, and I used that embossing folder, and I embossed the vellum. I am gonna take the piece that's embossed, and I'm going to add this to um, here like so. So I'm gonna take my tear and tape and put it all around the edge of this. Um, this is the raised side, so I have to do it on the back side. Just make sure you do it the right way. I want the raised side up. So that's what I'm doing, I'm putting the raised side up. And I'm just gonna add, oh, wait a minute. I had it the right way. 
you want to put it since it's going to go in here you want to put it on the raised side because when you put this down like this the raised side will be um, showing th or coming through the the hole and I'm going to take this off so I don't have that piece okay that's another advantage to this tape. And you can roll it off. I don't know if you can do that with the Terran tape. I've never tried. But when you make a mistake, you learn things like that. All right. And I'm going around all four edges. And you need to go around all four edges because you want to make sure that this sticks down to your um, card base. All right. I got it on there. I got to take the backs off. And you got to be very careful with this because if not, you'll poke a hole in your vellum. Um, it's okay if it's not going to show but you never know so just take your time and lift it slowly all right now this piece is going to go on here and I'm just going to kind of do my side to side and top to bottom and then I'm holding the one side up so that you don't get a wrinkle and then I'm just kind of pressing it down all right there it is I haven't even folded my card base yet, so let me do that now. All right, so we've got, oh, and you know what? I did not put my ribbon on first. I did this one, I did mine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is very carefully lift this up. Do this first before you put your stuff on. All right, and I'm gonna, Tie a quick knot and then I'll stick it down. The reason I don't want to tie the knot because I don't want to I don't want to waste my ribbon. So I'm gonna I won't waste much that way. And you have to do a double knot on this one. It's not going to stay tied if you don't. So do a double knot like so. Then stick it back down and nobody knows right? You're not going to tell on me, are you? All right, and then I trimmed this, and because this ribbon is so thin, um, I'm not worried about the fact that it hangs off. I figure when I put it in, I can kind of tuck it that way. All right, now we have that. Darn, darn, darn. All right, I took the Open If You Dare, and I stamped it on a scrap of Whisper White, with Cajun craze. Then I took the one and one fourth inch circle punch. I still have my circle punches, I still use them. If you don't have the circle punches, you can very easily use the layering circles. Then I took a piece of Cajun craze and I punched it out using the one and three eighths inch punch. I'm gonna layer the two of these together like so and I wanted just a little bit of an edge All right and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add that to my card base using dimensionals so this one would take about three so I'm adding those Take my backs off. That one was being stubborn. And I'm going to add my sentiment down here in the corner. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add some of the iridescent pearls. And I'm going to go with... Um, I think I'm going to go with the ones that look kind of gold. 
So there's a piece there, one there, that has a gold look to it. There's another. Of course, that one doesn't want to get picked up. So I sometimes cheat and put it on there. Because I just find it easier to attach these with my pokey tool. And I'm kind of working around the spiders. One more. Here we go. Like so. And there we have it. And then what I did was I used the embossing folder and I embossed the edge of the envelope and the bottom edge of the inside of my card. If you've enjoyed today's video, would you please give it a thumbs up, which is a like on YouTube. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Click the button below. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, click the bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by and I hope I inspired you with today's creation.